Hey YouTubers, so I'm here with uh, my first ever GoPro, one of the new uh, Hero 6 Blacks, and I'm super excited to uh, take it out into the world and to uh, take it to some jungle and underwater adventures and everything. But for now, I'm stuck in the frozen wastelands of Minnesota, so I wanted to do something with it. Um, so I decided, decided to do this series called uh, Totally Unnecessary GoPro Videos. So, first video we're going to do on unboxing. So here's my box, and let's get to it. Well, let me just grab my uh, letter opener. So, always uh, cut away from yourself. And let's see what we have inside. We have peanuts. Okay. And a puzzle. So, let's see. This puzzle is called Labinary. So, that's, or Labinary. I'm not, not sure which yet. Uh, so this puzzle is a combination of labyrinth, uh, so those, that's like those, uh, ball in a path puzzles that you kind of had to wobble and stuff and keep the ball on track without falling in, and binary. So binary is that number system that we use in computers where everything is either a zero or a one. So let's see what this puzzle, oh, I guess I still need... <sighs> More letter openers, also packing openers. All right, cool. Let's see what it looks like. Feels pretty solid. So there's, looks like there's six strips of wood between two little, I don't know, acrylic or plexiglass or whatever cases. And how does this work? So let's see, so these pieces, so here's where the binary comes in, I think. We have two states and two states here. And if you look, looks, I don't know if this was gonna come into effect or not, but you can see both the top and the bottom. Oh, there's, so there's the little, um, the ball. And that's what we're trying to get out, I assume. And where those come out, oh, I guess there's three exits up here. And so each of these little rows offers some movement, but it's, the idea is that it's always into one of two states, so state one or state two. And it, it looks like each of these columns is independently movable. And so the idea is that you're guiding the maze you're re you're redesigning the maze by toggling these these states so that seems pretty cool oh yeah you can see like you can see that in some cases the wood pieces like slide out and stuff like that so that seems pretty cool so yeah really really interesting puzzle um quiet kind of handheld it can come come with you wherever um oh yeah there is that a three-dimensional aspect of it you can see there's the the ball the piece moving between segments and you can bring it down and so forth so really interesting i guess there's three solutions you can get it out of you can get the ball out of all three of these these holes at the top here um and i i don't know what oh that's just another master toggle apparently so you have the columns plus plus these um it doesn't look like oh yeah that, that these do do things too so crazy amount of depth here um i think this is going to keep me busy for a really long time i don't know if i'm actually going to solve it but it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun to fiddle with it feels really nice i mean there's a little bit of wobble but like nothing's going to nothing's going to fall out or anything and the puzzle's always going to kind of retain its state and it looks like you can unscrew it if you if you get really stuck or lost so Really cool puzzle. Um, I'm glad I picked it up. 
Uh, I'm excited to, to play with it. I'll let you know if I ever get it solved. Uh, thanks for watching my first totally unnecessary GoPro video. And uh, a special thanks to my first subscribers, uh, my little niece and nephews, J, K, and L. Uh, thanks for watching me on YouTube and for telling me I needed to talk more. All right, see you next time.